Hi, I'm Tom Mason. And I'm George Johnson. And today we're here with Nikon and Wex Photo Video to tell you all about the new camera, the Z8. Now, this is a truly exciting camera, especially as a Nikon user. You know, this is the real replacement of the D850. We're getting high-end performance, top-end specs in a lighter weight camera that is gonna be absolutely fantastic for all ranges of professional photographers. For me as a wildlife photographer, I'm super excited about this. And as someone who used the D850 for years, I think this is gonna be an awesome step as the, the mirrorless kind of reincarnation of the camera. 100%, but it's not just photography that's exciting about this camera because the video specs are completely insane. We're gonna tell you all about those in just one moment. But before we do, I just wanna let you know that Wex are actually heading to Greece next week to test out this camera there. So make sure to keep your eyes on the channel because there's gonna be some really exciting content. But for now, let's get stuck into the specs. Right then, let's dive into the still specifications of this new Z8 camera. Now, firstly, it's based around a wonderful 45.7 megapixel sensor that is gonna be incredible for detail and high resolution images, meaning that whether you're shooting wildlife, portraits, landscape, it's really gonna fit the bill. And if you're wondering, that is based on a stacked CMOS sensor. Now, the camera also has no shutter. It's an electronic shutter that's absolutely wicked, really extends the possibilities this camera can do. You know, you've got everything, a shutter speed from 900 seconds all the way up to one thirty-two thousandth of a second in the camera that is absolutely awesome. Now, it also has 20 frames per second, meaning that high resolution is paired with incredible high speed that's going to be wicked. And you're probably thinking, well, it's got a buffer. No no buffer in RAW at 20 frames per second, meaning that those moments when everything's kicking off and you need to capture that decisive shot, well, it's just gonna keep going and working with you. And if you wanna shoot JPEG for even faster performance, you're gonna get 120 frames per second that is just wicked. You know, that is absolutely out of the world. Now, in terms of the camera body itself, it's a wonderful lightweight build. So unlike the Z9, this is a half body design, um, you know, so it's gonna have a, a, a grip that can be added to it at times, but you know, it's a lighter weight build, only 910 grams, including the battery. There's a 30% reduction in size from a Z9. That's gonna be great if you're like hiking up a mountain, traveling, you know, you just want a smaller, lighter camera to take with you, but you still get all that performance and goodness that is just wicked. You know, it's gonna be absolutely awesome. Now. The camera has top end specs, you know, CF Express cards to write full time. You've also got SD there as well to use media that you might already have. That's really nice if you're upgrading. And I think for a lot of people, as someone myself who used to use a D850 for a very long time, this is going to be the upgrade for that as a stills camera. But it's not just photography that this camera excels at because the video specs are frankly completely ridiculous. So firstly, I'll tell you about the fact that it shoots at 8K and that is in ProRes RAW. So that's gonna give you a huge amount of data to play with. That can be filmed in either 12-bit 422 or 10-bit 422. So obviously you can sort of cater it to the needs of your production and basically how large you want the footage files to be. But having that 12-bit is insane, especially it being RAW, ProRes RAW, it means that you're gonna have a crazy amount of color control if you want to then get really creative with your grading. You can also downscale the resolution because we don't want to be shooting 8K all the time though. And you can then film at 6K up to 120 frames a second, which is insane. That's about four times slow motion for anybody that doesn't know. That means that if you want to highlight a particular moment or really like slow a moment down, being able to do that in 6K resolution is frankly completely ridiculous. Now, both of these modes are utilizing the entire sensor. There's no crop whatsoever, which means your lenses are going to do exactly what they say on the tin, which is fantastic. But you might be thinking with these crazy specs, you're gonna to struggle to record for a long period of time, but that's not at all the case. When you're filming in 8K, it can go all the way up to 90 minutes. And when you're filming at 6K, it can go up to two hours. So that means if you wanna utilize this camera for things like for recording conferences, pretty much anything you want, you're gonna be much more concerned with filling up your cars rather than the capabilities of the body itself. Now, frankly, it's crazy that they've managed to put all of this in such a tiny body. And of course you're gonna think, well then maybe you're gonna struggle for battery, but that's not a case because you can actually use the batteries you have from your old D850, which again, just goes in line with the fact that it's a perfect upgrade for that camera. It means you don't need to spend tons of money on new batteries, which is absolutely fantastic. And if you've ever used the D850, it has a great battery life anyway. So that's just beautiful that you can switch from that over seamlessly. But there's also a load of other functions that they've managed to make this small body work for videographers. And that's the fact that it's so much smaller, so it's perfect for being rigged up to things 
things like gimbals, some of the stuff that perhaps larger cameras struggle to do. Upon release, small rig are also bringing out a cage, which means that you can rig it up however you want, which is just perfect. It just gives you so much flexibility, which is fantastic for somebody who likes a more complicated camera rig. Of course, it also offers all of the things you'd expect from such a top of the range video camera, stuff like being able to record an N-Log, being able to have focus peaking and a waveform so you can monitor your images brilliantly. I'm really excited about this camera. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. I can't wait to try out this 8K, this 6K, all of these crazy specs that are just gonna, I'm sure, deliver fantastic image quality. You're probably wondering how much is this gonna cost you? And it's coming in at 3,999 pounds, which sounds like a lot of money, but I actually think considering the features, it's quite a reasonable price. Yeah, I mean, as someone who's come from a D850, used it for years, now is using a Z9, I think this is a fantastic camera, a great price point. You know, we haven't had as long as we'd have liked with the camera today, but it feels great in the hand, a real professional tool that I think photographers from all genres are gonna go out there and love for years to come. 100%, but as we said, we haven't had it as long as we'd like, but please stay tuned to the channel because we're taking it all the way to Greece to really see what this camera is capable of.